Here at Open Ocean Robotics, we collect ocean data using our solar-powered, uncrewed surface vehicles, helping ocean industries, governments, and researchers better understand our oceans. Our USVs can go out on the ocean for months at a time, collecting data that can be transmitted in real time to provide those insights needed for important decision-making. So some of the biggest challenges we're facing on our oceans today are related to our inability to understand them. So 80% of our oceans are still unexplored, unobserved, and unmapped. And that's largely because it's extremely expensive, dangerous, and difficult to go out onto our oceans. So our technology allows us to understand our oceans while eliminating that risk and reducing the cost. We can stay out on our ocean for extended periods of time, collecting that data and providing that in real time. The three main areas that we're focused on is environmental monitoring, defense and security, and seafloor mapping. The ocean supercluster plays a really important role in growing Canada's ocean economy. For us as a small company, it offers a lot of advantages. It enables us to learn about ocean technologies, so helping to build those collaborations from west coast to east coast fostering networks and also the opportunity for companies to come together to advance our technologies to answer some of those challenges that we have in our ocean and to grow Canada's ocean economy. The Ocean Supercluster hosts a lot of different networking events and through those we've made strong connections to other companies and have started to engage in discussions on how we can work together to co-develop our technology to solve some of these challenges faced in our ocean, helping our company grow as well. In many ways, I think the future is, is really about creating a digital ocean where we have a level of understanding of our oceans that helps us better protect them, better operate in them, and um, ensure that they stay sustainable for future generations.